Hey guys, you guys have actually asked us about our video, our bikes in, in some of these other videos. And we actually shot this video, the biggest part of this video last fall. But we wanna give you some of our pros and cons on the electric bikes. Are they worth it? Would we buy them again? So let's just kind of go through it real quick and we'll talk about some. Right, so I'm gonna show you the bikes that I have. So the four bikes that I have is the electric XP premium dual battery bike, which is a heavy bike. The next bike is the electric XP 3.0, as well as the black bike is the same bike. Only difference is step over and step through, boys bike, girls bike kind of thing. And then the electric XP 2.0, which is the older bike. In this video, we took out the electric premium and the 3.0, um, and then I talk about these two bikes here in the video. So comment and tell us what you think. Um, let me know if you think the foldable bikes are absolutely worth it. I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know that I would buy a foldable bike again if I had to do over. Let us know what you're at. I'm curious as well. I want to learn too. Me and Valerie are on a little bike ride and we are riding our electric bikes. So we have had these bikes for a minute. So this is the electric 3.0 and then this is the electric premium and then it has the pedal drive motor versus the hub drive motor. So my these two bikes are the ones that we've ridden the most. Um, mine and Valerie, so mine's got about 100 miles on it. How many's on yours, Val? Maybe 50 or 60. Yeah, Val's got 50 or 60 in, on hers. We've really had pretty good luck with them so far. Um, these are our bikes. Electric didn't send us to them. There's some things that I really like about these bikes and there's some things that I think are just just okay my big gripe about the these bikes is they they fold down to safe space which really is kind of true um and i think after buying these bikes if i had them go back and buy them buy something different i don't know that i would buy electric bikes um now i don't dislike my bikes don't get me wrong but i think for me like if you didn't want a foldable bike and you know everybody in the RV industry is like you got to have a foldable bike but I think the foldable bikes are good but if you didn't go with the foldables there's a lot more options and quite frankly the easiest way to travel with these so far that we've seen or I've seen is put them on a bike rack on the back of the camper and then you can put any bike on the bike on the back of the camper on a bike rack <laughs> well I kind of disagree I really like that they fold because they can be very versatile and like where you're taking them. So like when we take a daughter or two or whoever's coming with us, we can fold one up, put it in the bed of the truck, put two on the back of the camper, or, you know, I just like that they're, they're versatile enough in the way that like for part-time camping for us, we can kind of take them on trips as needed or pack them differently. They don't always have to be like in their full unfolded state. I, I love that they fold. I don't know, I guess another thing we like about having them as part-time RVers is that, you know, it gives us something to do in the colder months mm -hmm. that maybe campgrounds aren't open, you know, where we live in Kentucky. A lot of them shut down after Halloween, but like it's not so winter yet that you still can't get out and do stuff. So I do like having them when we're not camping. I do know that some full-timers like kind of ditch their bikes after they've carried them around so much and you know they have so many things to carry and pack every single time they go they end up just getting rid of their bikes sometimes i like that we can still store them easily and use them when we're not camping and the vows the point is like when i put them in the garage i um what they fold when they fold they are easier to put away in that aspect and then like a lot of people put them in, in tubs like 45 or 50 gallon tubs and they'll put them in their camper and stuff. The way our camper folds up, there's just not room to do that. I wish they were a little shorter so I could fold them up and like put them underneath the bed cover of my truck when we travel. To me, that would be like the easiest way to deal, so do, deal with them. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work for the camper. It doesn't work for the um, our, our particular setup. Um, now I've got friends who have class A diesels with the big basements and they actually fold them up and put them on their more ride trace which again doesn't work for, for our <laughs> setup so i think they're good bikes and they have their perks and they have their good good points about them but there's also things like if i had to do it over again would i buy four electric bikes i don't know i really don't know i mean i'd have to, i'd probably look around a little more the reason i have four electric bikes is because a lot of the parts are interchangeable so if i get pick up spare parts for something 
for one of them and essentially should work for all four. Um, and so I'm, I'm always like that. And throughout my life and the different jobs I've had, you know, you know, I'm always big like, you know, like I like to have, if I use something a lot, I like to have multiple of them so I can interchange parts. You know, it's kind of like, like my dad's farm, they have, um, tractors that use all the same oil filters like you know they have like a setup one oil filter might fit four tractors and so while that's probably a poor example that's an example i use with these electric bikes and that's why i have four of them i i added this little foam seat which isn't actually like electric product we bought them at dick's while we were at um anchor, anchor down, down. Mm -hmm because we went on the Cades cove bike loop you guys can totally watch that video awesome ride best ride probably in the whole state of Tennessee. But these are like the cushy seats already. And I just felt like after an hour or two, they still kind of hurt. So the, the foam does help. Even though this one doesn't fit all the way, it still works fine. So I'm keeping it for now, but I like the foam cushy seat. I like the simplicity of this because when you power it on, um, you know, all you have to do is really hold the power button down to turn it on. And then you basically put it in power power assist pedal assist one two three four or five you put this sucker in pedal assist five and you go to take off it's going to be like falling off the back of a motorcycle <laughs> when do really it's going to pop a wheelie yeah but i like that you can just start off right away without pedaling and it'll assist you taking off if you're going uphill especially but i like that the gears aren't difficult to manage i typically keep mine on gear three and it never really has a problem it's funny because you're in gear four yeah, well, somebody must have changed it for me, but mine's typically in gear three. And I notice you always messing with your gears all the time, but I don't feel like I have to. I like to change gears. Now, one thing I will say about these is these bikes with the hub drive motors, I joke because we have a black one that I ride with it, and I ride it quite a bit, and I was riding it at anchor down, and you just barely have to pedal mm -hmm. for the motor to feel your pedaling, and it will, it will give you assist. And so I was pedaling real slow one day. I was pedaling real slow, and I was in seventh gear, I was going really fast and I felt like the Wicked Witch of the West in a tornado when she's riding her bike. She's just kind of pedaling and she's going around. Mm -hmm. um, and then this bike has the motor in the pedals, as you can see. And honestly, like where, where this premium bike probably wins, it's a lot smoother when you pedal as far as the way the power works. Mm -hmm. Now where it loses is this bike, this bike especially, the premium is a heavy, heavy bike. I mean. You know, you got two batteries, and this one battery here, I think, weighs like seven or eight pounds. And you know, where that one's just got the one battery, that's where it says electric right there. Mm -hmm. The battery is in there. And so it, it makes quite a bit of difference as far as weight goes. Um, quite a bit of difference. Yeah. Like both of us have to work on picking this one up to get it in the bed of the truck. It's pretty heavy. So the, the big difference between the premium and, and the 3.0 is the way they, the, the motor works. Um, I think they're about the same power and, and, and I could be wrong, but the 3.0 with the hub drive is a lot more, to me, jerkier. Um, and then the premium smoother, but because the 3.0 there doesn't have two batteries, it's, it's like, I want to say it's like 15 pounds lighter, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're loading these things, it is. it's quite a bit. Um, the premium also, and again, you know, and this is just feel. It feels like a longer bike when you ride it, so it feels like a bigger bike. And then the 3.0 um, feels like a little bit shorter bike. And then, oh, she got her bell. <laughs> I put that on her for the other day. The big thing between the 3.0 and the 2.0 is this is this frame here is welded on. And they actually make a seat if you wanted to ride like a smaller kid back there that they can ride on. And then it's got a bigger motor, like a bigger drive motor, not in size, but in power wise than the 2.0. One thing that electric will sell you on the 2.0 and the 3.0 difference is the 3.0 has hydraulic brakes, hydraulic disc brakes. The X premium has hydraulic disc brakes and the 2.0, and I'll have to show you when we get home, has a cable drive disc brake. And if you're asking me, having ride, ridden all three bikes, there's not a nickel's difference in them. I disagree. Well, in the brakes. Okay, in the brakes maybe, yeah. Now, these brakes work really well, and if you ask Valerie how she knows, because we were at Mammoth Cave and she uh, she uh, locked the them up, gravel. And locked them up, and slid out. So, yeah, that was fun. I just did want to say that I tried to ride Libby's, which is the 2.0. I tried to ride Jarrett's, which is the premium, and 
that's when we decided to order the third one, which is the middle of the road 3.0, right? And I'm 5'5", and this bike, I feel like, fits me perfectly as far as, like, the sizing. I always felt like that one's too heavy and too big and chunky. And then I felt like the 2.0 was almost too tiny. It could have been on the 2.0 too, though, the way that Olivia had her seat and stuff set up. I know, but I tried and tried to adjust the seat. And, like, I always felt like the pedals were behind me, and like so it hurt my knees, and I don't know why. But when I got the 3.0, I was totally satisfied with it. I really like this one. We like the 3.0 enough that when we bought it, and I rode it, uh, it had good enough power. And I'm bigger. I'm not as big as I used to be. I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not, but I'm not as portly as I used to be. I've lost a lot of weight lately, but when I kind of ordered a premium, it's because it had dual batteries. I'm like, well, I need something to pull my fat ass around. <laughs> and so uh, maybe I need two batteries. And then we, we camped with these two, and then we got Libby's. We, we camped with this one in the Libby's. The, the 2.0 and the premium was first that we bought. We went to Four Corners, and we decided on the premium, or the 3.0 for Val. Well, you know, that's pretty comfortable. So we liked it enough that we bought, so we have two X, X3, 3.0 electrics. But great bikes. Would I buy them again? Probably, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I will say I've had to get a couple of parts for things and their customer service has been really good, which means a lot. Mm -hmm. And I like them, I'd buy them again. So Valerie, all the way. Valerie would buy them again. And you it's know how for, you, for those of you that are married, if she, if she wants her bike, she'll get her bike, so. <laughs> what the woman says goes, Pretty much. not all the time. See, watch this, you don't even have to pedal to take off. I got it in PAS2. Woo! There she comes, Lala Gagan in. Yeah, I guess. This one's pretty bumpy. I guess this one, for that's great, this is the golf course. It's probably out that way, so. Well. Let's try it. As I was riding, I was thinking how well this bike fits me. Like, it just sits so nicely. So, I just kind of wanted to show you. I'm going to take off a little ways, not too far. Can you, like, show how my my arms sit up nicely like it's good body mechanics like it feels right my arms sit right when i'm riding even downhill on a steep grade and we have to brake a lot like you put a lot of pressure on your elbows and i feel like it doesn't like it doesn't put too much stress on my arms is what i'm saying I guess you can't feel it unless you're on it, but whatever. I got an idea. Is this, is this boat ramp? It's a boat ramp. <laughs> if we want to be like Mr. Beast, we can right we can throw a couple electric bikes off the boat ramp, <laughs> ride them in to mm -hmm. the water, see what happens. <laughs> be like um, Robin Williams on RV. Remember when the RV goes into the lake and it's completely submerged and he gets on his bike and he rides it out of the lake? My dad said, uh, we were talking about Mr. Beast and uh, how he throws Lamborghinis over cliffs. And he goes, you know what? You all should have thrown, you all should throw a class A over a cliff. <laughs> I'll, I'll say I guess this. we could do that. I'll that would say, get some views, wouldn't it? If somebody wants to give me a class A to throw over a cliff, <laughs> I'll do it. Would you ride it into the lake? Yeah, I wouldn't care. I can <laughs> swim. Just make sure your windows are down so you can get out. I think I'm going to turn around. Well, you're like 500 feet from the water, so you didn't go very far at all. All right. I'll, I'll take your challenge. I'm going down to the water. Slowly. Oh, you got to fly down there. <laughs> there she goes. She's riding off into the lake. That I do for YouTube shot. But here she comes. Mr. Brave Guy, see how much you got. Oh, he's in the water. <laughs> Sometimes scared of the water, so I didn't want to wipe out. <laughs> well, that's the whole fun of it. If you wipe out in the water, it's not, it's a nice day today. You wouldn't be too cold. My tires are wet. Your tires are dry. I'm better than you. Man, 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 man. 
we're total dorks. All this right. is this is not Mr. Beast worthy. <laughs> uh, I pay for the scrapets. <laughs> Electric wants to give me a bike to throw in the lake. I'll throw it in the lake. Electric? Challenge accepted. Give me a bike, I'll ride a sun bitch straight in the lake. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. You just missed it. Miles you just missed it. Like five deer. I was trying to go 88 miles an hour. You know why? No. So I could go back in time. You know why? So I can marry you again. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> You should have seen the look on my face when I saw those deer. It scared the crap out of me. Bye. Here comes the worst part of the entire bike bike trip. It's putting the bikes back in the truck. As you saw, uh, we finished the video up. We didn't show you loading them honestly because they're heavy sales and you probably we try to keep this channel as family friendly as possible and you wouldn't want to hear all those four letter words of me picking those suckers up and throwing them in the back of the truck so um i know there's other options getting them in you know I, you know whether it's a tub or some sort of ramp or whatever and honestly like that's just more to carry more to do so that's something i'm not interested in um let me know what you guys do let me know what your options are and how you guys do it i'm just curious you know let's learn from each other Comment below what bikes do you ride? If you weren't going to buy an electric bike or you didn't buy an electric bike, what'd you buy? I'm curious. I'm just curious for me more than anything. There's pros and cons to every bike you buy. I'm 50-50 on electric, just to be perfectly honest with you. I probably wouldn't buy them again, but maybe I would. I don't know. It depends what kind of mood I'm in and how that taco and margarita was the night before I pulled the purchase on it. So, Valerie likes the 3.0. Valerie likes the 3.0. Um, I'm, I like my 3.0 but i'm also pretty indifferent on them as well so thanks for watching like and subscribe talk to you next week stay safe